Well, one day to go here in Nice and Group Eben de Rothschild lead going to the final day. This is race 17 today. I'm with Hervey Cunningham from Group Eben de Rothschild. This is the start. We're on board here with Red Bull Sailing, but you have gone to the right-hand side, the dark blue sails of Group Eben de Rothschild. You knew where you wanted to be. Yeah, the goal was to start on port because the line was favoured. And uh, when you do a start like this, the goal is you really got to be patient. If you go too early, if you're not the, the uh, you see the wave, if we go too early, we'll end it up in the wave transom. So the goal is to go really, to be patient and start at the VMG angle without uh, having to bear away behind the, the late, uh, the last uh, starboard boat. This one was not a bad start, I would say. I'd say it was pretty good. <laughs> you're in a good position, you're heading out. These boats were heading to the other side of the course, which has paid from time to time. But at the moment, Red Bull was sailing a little behind you, but going your side of the course, you're in the favourable position. More breeze out there. Yeah, it's a tricky uh, uh, place to sail. You have guests coming down the hill, and Darling, most of the time it's better on the right. So we say, OK, let's start for the, the right. And sometimes it pays on the left, but average it's better on the right side. Pinder, though, going towards the beach. Yeah, like you say, there were one time, sometimes it really paid. Pinder one time gained hugely with a big shift. But you've now tacked, you're on the ley line heading in for the mark and with the wave just behind you. Yeah, and here we do a little mistake because we are on the ley and we see these uh, boats on the, on the left side of the course and it's a little favour to them. So we decide after the tack to go fast. So we are low and fast and uh, I think that's the race we're going to uh, have trouble at the mark. So coming in we're looking at the animations and that is your boat leading and here we are in real time. The two boats that went to the left hand side are behind you and the wave. You can see you're coming into the mark here. Good breeze, some real gusts coming in and you've come to the right hand side tacked on the ley line. This is that Red Bull who are coming in behind you. Things are going well for you here though. Yeah, yeah, it was a good call from uh, Pierre Penek, our helmsman. He called the ley line and that was a really good call because as you saw, we tacked, uh, the wave went too far over the ley line and we just tacked, we said, okay, we're on the ley, we tack here and it should be a good, uh, huge gain, and which is. So uh, there you are, leading, Red Bull chasing behind. Difficult day for Red Bull today. They have lost ground on you guys at the front of the field. But you're now leading the Wave Muscat. The battle here in Nice so far is between you two. Yeah, sure. But you know, in, if you follow the the, 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 the season, you it's no it's more fight against us because we had the two really bad events. The two last events were really bad. So we are really looking into getting the confidence back on the boat. And so far we're doing good, and uh, we're really happy the way we sail. But uh, yeah, for sure, it's been a battle since uh, event one with these guys. So Red Bull were looking at them on this race as well because they were falling back. So often they seem to start well. And this season they've ended better than last season, but they've always or usually tended to fade towards the end of the event. Yeah, the, the, the thing is Red Bull is a really strong team. They are really aggressive on the start. But in these uh, races, you, you don't have to fight to be the first East. to win every race. You just need to be every race in the top three to end it up uh, leading the overall. So this is a tricky part because we are all competitors and we want to win all the races, but you have to be Diving. smart and clever enough, which is not easy because you have a, it's really hard to think the, the, the rate, heart rate, or oh, this is a slow rounding, but uh, here I think we called for the left side of the course, which is uh, favored, but uh, that's a difficult call. Yeah, yeah, because we did a really slow maneuver here, so I hope it's gonna pay. Yeah, I remember commentating, we think, ah, oh, have they taken the right, wrong side? You're going closer to the beach. The rest of the fleet are pouring down. Here you come, you've now got, there were some gusts coming that side, but there are the wave, Muscat, blue sails heading left of pitcher. Red Bull in all sorts of problems there. But it looked to me as if you may have lost the lead at that point. Yeah, because uh, as you see here, we're attacking because the it's so gusty. It, it's been good when we looked at it downwind, but we realize it's not that good anymore so yeah that was the wrong gate and uh, i hope we s will still be able to be in front of the wave so the wave far in the middle of your pitch are out to sea dark patches they've got better breeze there and here we are the gain line show the wave muscat 
chose the right side, they went out to sea, and that was the right move. But you're closing in halfway up that beat. Yeah, that must be a guess coming in. The other thing is for the wave is to find the right uh, ley line to tack because when they have this breeze here, they tack, they, they think they're on the ley line and maybe it's gonna drop and turn left and they're gonna end it up not doing the mark. So that's, uh, that's where we think, okay, if they go two or three boat lengths too far, that's gonna pay for us at the end. So here we come, and there you are, left to pitch, dark blue sails, of course, and you make your move, but look at the speed of Lee McMillan. Yeah, that's it. He, he went too far over the lay, but he's coming with a lot of speed, and uh, maybe he's got more than us. <laughs> so Lee, Lee McMillan went out far side and is now coming in. You made that brave move. We were worried if you tacked on the lay line or you cut it too fine. Yeah, we are just on the lay line, so that th the side was bad, the left side was bad, but uh, it was a hard call for the wave to call the right ley line. And the, the two bo extra boat length they did, that allow us to stay in the lead. So you put that extra tack in if you, if you go that side of the course. And here you are. What do you do now? Because they're looking to take your win, they're looking to attack. Yeah, now if uh, we, we, still have a, we still need to go down to the gate. So the goal is to protect the jibe, to be inside a little bit, to be sure that when we jibe, they're not going to cover us. But once again, it's really hard because the gusts are really uh, small and uh, you, you cannot call them. We're so close to the shore. So Red Bull doing all they can to catch up, but they are playing catch up. And here you are. Look, three boats. You have Amman, Air and the Wave Muscat rolling past you. How did that happen? Well, the Oman did a really good job. They just jibed at the, at the green mark and uh, we did the mistake to go too far. We didn't see that right shift coming. And uh, well, Oman did it well. The wave did it in the middle, so he managed to, <laughs> to keep his position, and we did it really bad. We didn't see that uh, new breeze coming in. So your options now, two options, two gates to go around. Last time you went inshore, it didn't pay. And what do you do here? Here yeah, the goal is to say, the call is, okay, let's, let's run this mark behind them and try to keep uh, the height and avoid, uh, just stay close, just behind them like this, they cannot tack. The goal is to hold this position until the ley line and uh, be close enough not to allow them to tack. So the Iman Air are off, heading up the right-hand side of the course. You're close enough to the wave to try and force them beyond the place where they want to tack, and so you can tack and keep go to the mark. Your aim, your best bet here was perhaps to be second, Iman Air off. Yeah, true. So here, the, the, our tactic is not working because you can see there is a wind shift and we say okay let's play the shift and we'll see at the top mark how it goes because there's if we would uh, stay in that position there's nothing we can expect so I think we're going to tack soon in this new shift and uh, I hope it's going to pay to go on the left again <laughs> and then you can see there that's telling the picture so Amane leading the wave muscat second and you're chasing Muscat up, but now beyond the ley line, looking to tack, and there's good breeze here, so you're leaving the rest of the fleet behind. So Amman Air have tacked. They look pretty comfortable leading now. Yeah, yeah, they did a really good job. Uh, nice jab down the downwind and the right gate. At, at that stage also, w the, the call on the boat is, okay, we are third. Okay, we lost two places, but we are third. It's a good place. So the goal is not to, it's, it's to defend more than uh, to be aggressive we're not going to take over these two boats so the goal is to stay third but you've done better than that yeah so once again Pierre Penet called the ley line and we tacked and we were right on the ley line and once again the wave went a little bit too far and uh, well we did gain a little back Amane around the top mark and head down towards the uh, completion and for you coming inside you've got one of the places back but you left it pretty tight yeah, it was really, really close. We were, I don't know, uh, less than a meter from that mark, but uh, just ahead, of, yeah, quite ahead of uh, the wave, so we were safe there. And the breeze, the breeze is dying there for the wave, so I think they got to put another tack or two if they're not doing that mark. Yeah, things went badly wrong for the wave muscat. Group Evan de Rothschild as the Amman Air win the race. Second place, good day. You end the day leading. You'd run here last year. Things are going better here than any other event so far this year. Yeah, we are too bad. The two last events were really bad for us, and uh, we try to, as I said, keep the find the momentum again. You know, the good good vibe on the boat, and so far we're doing well. We we have the the best team so far here. The 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 the, the, the people on board we feel the most confident with. So there's no reason we cannot achieve a good result in Nice in our hometown.
Victory tomorrow, that's the plan. Second place in this race. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks a lot. And the Oman did a really nice race here.